I can't change my singing voice. If I can't sing, then I can't sing lah. But I enjoy it. So if you don't want to listen, just unfollow me. You don't have to like bully me for it. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome to my channel! Today, in this video, I am going to introduce myself and share a story about myself. So here's a trigger warning. If any of you are not ready for it, you can come back on another day to listen to this story. This video will be part of a series that I want to introduce on my YouTube channel called Hashtag It Matters. In this series, Hashtag It Matters, I will speak about the topics which I hold dearly to my heart and yeah, just share my opinions on them and hopefully also experiences that I have so that you know it can help some of you out there to go through it. Hope you enjoy this video. So without further ado, let me introduce myself first. My name is Jueline. Most people call me Jui or Jiu. But yeah, you call me Jiu. I think that's more like Qingqie, like friendly. I'm 24 years old this year and I'm awaiting my graduation from the diploma, a diploma eh, degree in early childhood education with a psychology minor. I hope that this will kickstart something that I've always been thinking about and then I will stick to it. Please send me a lot of support by subscribing, liking and commenting. In this YouTube channel, I want to have like vlogs, this hashtag it matters series which I would really want to kickstart. Maybe sometimes I'll do a little bit of like fashion, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of makeup. So I just want to showcase whatever I enjoy doing. Now that I've introduced myself, it's time for me to move on to my topic of today which is on bullying. I'm going to be sharing my story of me getting bullied from primary school to secondary school. To you, you may agree to disagree that it's not considered as bullying. It can be just like, oh, you know, the kids are still young back then la, so they are just being playful. To me, based on my personal experience, it is bullying and it does have an impact on my life. So before I start my story, I would wish to state the definition of bullying. Defined by the Singapore Legal Advice, bullying involves acts of aggression meant to cause discomfort to a victim. So these acts of aggression can be verbal or mental abuse such as insults, name calling or cyber bullying. It can also extend to physical abuse. Uh, this is just like a legit definition I would like to get out there to set a basis to this entire video before I share my experience. Let's first start off with me in primary school. I don't have much impression of how I was in primary school but based on my perspective of myself, I was quite a happy-go-lucky girl and during that period, we started to be able to like bring phone to school. We were having like swimming classes and we were like, you know, changing in the toilet cubicles. So I have this classmate who took my phone away from my hand and started recording videos of my friend changing in the toilet. When that happened, I took my phone away immediately and stopped her. When I took my phone away, I deleted the video away immediately. Obviously, that friend that was recorded found out and got very angry. So, that girl went to tell the teacher. I did try to explain to my teacher. I was begging on the floor and I was just telling my teacher, please don't tell my parents. I'm not the one that took the video. It's really not me. We had a big like to and fro conversation and she started insulting my family and calling my mom like S Ni mama su Like this kind of very mean words. No actions was taken when this girl insulted my mother. At that point when I was 9 years old, I didn't understand the concept of bullying yet and I just let the matter go to rest without informing my parents about it. I just focused on studying and then I was primary 5 then and that was another incident of bullying. This incident happened because a few of my classmates decided to cheat during Ting Xie and for me, I felt like it shouldn't be doing that. So then after that, I decided to go and tell my Lao Shi about it. It just so happened that all these people that I decide to like be on a different side with are the popular girls in the school. They are just like the, you know, prettier girls, the Xiao Hua. Because they are the Xiao Hua, they are words hold power. They actually went around the class to instigate my friends to not be friends with me. It was successful because you know when we are at the age of growing up friendships are very important and we always want to be with the in group and not with the out group at that point of time I also lost my friends and of course with this happening I start to ponder like is there something wrong with me so at that point of time the primary 5 me decided to not care anymore about what people do at the age when you are 10 you are also transiting into puberty people opinions start to matter a little bit more moving on to premise 6 the group of guys in my class were pretty Playful la. they were just like call me names like Zhu Niao, also known as Pig Urine in English, or Zhu Wen Ling, uh, which I have no idea what that means, like Pig Ask Bell? I don't know. 
maybe to them it meant nothing maybe to them the name calling was just for fun they were just being playful for a kid that has been facing this consistently it does leave an impact so those name calling made me feel very insecure about my name my beautiful name called Jeweline even though I told them to stop they didn't stop so moving on to secondary school uh, secondary school was a very tough period for me when I was in secondary one uh, I was very active on my social media. I used to post a lot. So there was a lot of like indirect Facebook messages. She thinks she's very cool posting all those like YouTube type kind of video. And on Instagram, I would post like singing covers and they would actually play the cover in my class. They would be like, hey, hey, you got hear Julie's cover or not? Uh, you hear, you hear? Then they would just play my Instagram cover in front of me, in front of the whole class. And they would like try to imitate my singing. My singing. It, it may be bad, but I don't think it should call upon for getting bullied la. So no one stopped them. It was just very tough for me because it seemed like the whole class hated me for who I am. Moving forward, I was selected to be the school counsellor and of course it was something that I celebrated about. I remember that day I was wearing my tie for the first day in school and I was just, you know, happily walking to try to go to the toilet. One of the bullies actually was holding a mineral water, walking towards the water cooler. He took the bottle, he drank the water, he turned around and he spat the water on my school tie. They were really unhappy that my form teacher picked me to become a school counsellor. I decided to speak to my form teachers about it at that point of time. The boys, they stopped for a while and then they continued again one day. It was early in the morning before PE where the boys decided to come to me as a group. They started to like insult my family. It was 11 years ago so I cannot remember the exact context but I remember I was so angry at whatever they said about my family that I, I ran to the toilet. I called my parents and we ended up in the discipline mistress room and the boys were caught down. Uh, they ended up getting suspended. That made me know that what I felt inferior about was invalid. I'm not in contact with any of them anymore. We are kind of following each other on social media so if you come across to this video I'm not trying to bear any grudge just know that I'm just sharing my experience that back then it did affect me a lot. Now looking back I just wish that Jualin from 11 years ago was a bit more confident with herself. She was a little bit less affected by the words of other people. For Jolin that is in the present state, I am currently doing things that I enjoy doing. Just an advice to all of you out there who are going through the impact of being bullied from the past or currently maybe you are a secondary school student getting bullied by a big group of people. Just want to assure you that it is okay for you to be who you are and there are people in the world that's just gonna hate you for you. So don't care about them as much as possible. This is something I should, I, I should have learned back then. Lah. Like I can't change my singing voice. If I can't sing then I can't sing lah, but I enjoy it. So if you don't want to listen, just unfollow me. You don't have to like bully me for it. <laughs> What I've learned is to like, to really only digest and accept feedback that are constructive. Just know that apart from the bullies, there are people out there who love you and support you for what you're doing. Okay, so this part of the footage, it's slightly different in angle and everything. It's because I just remembered a very important point that I've forgotten to mention. To those that are bullied out there, please seek help. Like, do not keep quiet. Moving on to the next part. <laughs> If you wish to tell the person that they have room for improvement, please do it in a nice and constructive way and not a way that hurt them. They are the loved ones of others. Their family, their friends, their relatives and people who care for them. That's the end of my first ever video in 2022. If you want to see more of my videos or you want to see more of Hashtag 8 Matters, do subscribe, like and leave some comments down below. And thank you for sitting in. I hope it's not a long video but I'll edit it to be as concise as possible and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye friends!